Hi, this is Steve. I'm doing a little tutorial for Marine. Here's how you uh, upload a video. First, when you go to YouTube, you're going to have to uh, sign in for an account. You give them your email address, a password, and then uh, you can just click the Upload button and click on Upload a Video. I'm going to click on my desktop and find where you're at, Marine YouTube, and hit Open. And it's going to upload. It's going to take uh, seven or eight minutes. It's kind of a big file. You can also play the video on your desktop. It's a QuickTime movie. It's going to take about eight minutes, so what I'm going to do is uh, come back in eight minutes and show you some settings. Okay. Okay, there's about one minute remaining. Um, and you can edit your title, and you can edit the description and tags, or public or private. Um, but I don't want to edit this here because it doesn't show you enough. So I'm going to hit uh, save. Uh, this Up here it says your settings will be saved once your upload is complete. So let's just wait for a minute. You can make this unlisted, so you would have to send someone a link. Or make it unlisted so it can only be viewed on your website. But I have a lot of clients where when I'm editing a video it's easier for them to uh, watch it on YouTube because everyone can play YouTube. So now I'm going to go to uh, back over here I'm going to click on my videos. Now here you are here I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to do several things. Number one, I'm going to change the name of it. And description. I'm going to put uh, actress. Now there are tags. These are when people search. What I did is, uh, in a simple word pad, I wrote Maureen Muldoon, actor, actress, Chicago, talent, voiceover, narrations, SAG. Uh, so I'm going to copy that. And these are the tags. In case anyone does a search for, say, Chicago actor, Chicago actress, you'll show up. Chicago SAG actor, you'll show up. People in blogs, you can pick your... Uh, uh, category. Oh look at you should be in entertainment. Now again you can make it public so anyone can do um, view it. You can make it unlisted so you have to send someone the link and if you do this this is the link you'd send them right here. You'd copy this put it in an email address send them they click on it they could watch it no one else could watch it. So I'm gonna make it unlisted just for the heck of it. Comments. There's no reason you should allow pe people to comment. I mean, you can if you're doing, say, a nonprofit video, but for my clients, I turn comments off, I turn voting off, I turn video responses off, I turn ratings off. You know, it's just for kids to do stupid stuff. And we have to leave embedding on because I'm going to embed this. And then I'm going to click on Save Changes. And that's all there is to it. Now I'll show you how to uh, put this in iWeb. All right, we're in iWeb. This is a, simp a simple site, Tom's Photography. I just said uh, make new site. I have a bunch of web pages with videos and things on them for different clients. Um, so I just said start new site, and uh, I took a template, Tom's Photography. I'm going to knock this off, and I'm going to insert. I don't want a hyperlink. I want a widget. A lot of people pick the YouTube widget. I don't like it. I want an HTML snippet. And here it is right here, HTML snippet. It's going to do whatever I tell it to do. I'm going to make it big and we're going to shape it later. So we're going to go back to Google. Here's where I'm at. These are all my videos. To get there you just go to my videos. Here's your video. Click on it. 
and click on embed. This is the code, it's all highlighted. You come up to edit, copy. And now we're going to go back over to uh, iWeb. Here's a little snippet we put in, it's HTML. Click in here, edit, paste. Hit apply. There's your video. Now, here's the thing no matter how you shaped your video, let's say you shaped it the wrong size, when you hit apply, it's going to grow it to 480 by 385. Again, if your inspector doesn't show up, you just click inspector here. So I have to pull this over onto the background. But now it's at the right size. And obviously you can take uh, other type that you have and put it to the side or anything you like. But now and then when you just hit file, uh, publish site changes, uh, your video is embedded. Again, if you don't want to have a YouTube account, uh, I'll send you the code in an email. It's just all this type here. And uh, that's all there is to it. Pretty easy. There's just a couple negative things. If they're on your website and they play your video, at the end of the video, it'll give them a selection of uh, other videos. But that's life. <laughs> uh, and you probably notice that when you surf the web, that once you play a video on someone's site, they'll say, okay, here's more videos from YouTube, and it will show up in the window. You'll see that. If you want to host the file yourself, send me an email because you need a different type of file, uh, a non-YouTube file. All right, bye.